it's your girl April and today is a Bath and Body Works June 2016 haul. So first of all, let me tell you girls this much. I love Bath and Body Works. I will be honest and tell you I love them, but I'm also going to be honest and tell you that I only go twice a year. Um, I really find it redundant and ridiculous to pay like $13.50 for one shower gel or one lotion or even more than that. I just really don't find it that necessary to spend that much on a shower gel and lotion. When I can go to like Walmart and give you like some really, really good lotion that doesn't smell just as good but will really moisturize my skin for way less. So anyway, like I said, I only go twice a year which is in January and June, the semi-annual sale and I racked up on so much stuff that I don't have to go back until the next sale. And I, that's how cheap I am. I am super duper cheap. Cheapskate haul, cheapskate I am, cheapskate all the way. So I have like so much stuff here and I'm not even done because you guys know the sale is for like a month. So I try to get so much and the stuff that I have is for me but plus I have three daughters and a son and unfortunately this time around there was no manly masculine male products. Sometimes I can find some, so I wasn't able to get my son any. But I will hit up, like, there is another one that I need to hit up. I only went to two stores the first day of the sale, so this week I will be going back to get some more stuff from the next sale. You can so, you can um, basically split your purchases. You know, if you have a $40 purchase and you have a $10 off coupon, you can use that coupon as many times as you want, but you can split the purchases so that way you can save more, which I did, and I split it like four times. Okay, so let's just get into this stuff of what I have here. Um, now, keep in mind that all of this stuff, not all of it is all for me. I, like I said, I have three daughters who do like to smell good. So some of this is for them, except for the candles. Okay. So I actually ended up getting two of the Agua. I think that's how you say it. I really can't see what it says. Um, but the Papaya Sunset Shower Gels. So I have two of those. I think these were either like $3.75 or $3.12. There are some... Um, sections that were like 375 some sections that were 75% off so I went to back and forth I like the 75% off table the most because even though it's probably like 60 70 cents difference I'm super duper cheap so I have two of these right here which I love these type of shower gels I will keep them in my shower one of the Hiscibus guavas um, frescas awesome smell Two of the peonies. Now, I'm not like a huge fan of the peonies, but I do have two of the peonies. So, of course, only one is for me. I do, I did have two of these, but my daughter Tati already took one. So, this is the Cotton Blossom with Shea and Vitamin E, which smells like clean linen, and I absolutely love clean linen. The scent of, like, Cotton Blossom or clean linen smells very similar, and I love the smell of it. This one right here, which I actually have in my shower already from the last sale, is the Vineyard Champagne Kiss. This one smells really, really good. I really like this one a lot. And I tried to get, like, all matching lotions. Um, the Mango Mandarin. And these are for $12.50 a piece. Also, the Sonoma Weekend Escape. I have not smelled this one. Um, I did, but I really don't remember the scent. And it smells decent. It smells really, really good. It smells like good bubble bath, kind of like fruity scent. So that one there. And these are the lotions that I favor the most. These are the creams, the body creams. Like, I have two of these size kind of bottles. But I like the body creams a lot better. Ooh. I like the body creams a lot better because they're thicker, which gives you a better moisture. And it does say 24-hour moisture. So this is the Mango Mandarin Moisturizing Cream Body Lotion, which is awesome. Love this. And the Peony which I'm going to give the peony to my daughter. I've had the peony. Peony is like an old scent, which has already been out, so I already had that. Um, the Papaya Sunset. It kind of reminds me, hmm, it smells really good. It kind of is a cross between mango to me, kind of. Also, the Cotton Blossom Body Cream. Oh, my God. I freaking love this one. And I know Mumsy is going to want to use this. Oh, God. It just smells so good. Like, I love candles that smell like linen or what have you. 
just delicious. The ice pear margarita. So the downer is I did not get a shower gel with this and I don't know how that happened. So of course I'm going to make it my business to go back and get the shower gel. So this is Ultra Shea body cream. So all of them have like Ultra Shea in it. Now these are the two lotions just like the regular lotions that I got. The Vineyard um, Champagne Kiss and the Sonoma Weekend Escape. Mm -hmm. These are normally $12.50 and the creams are $13. So they're 50, 50 cents more and of course um, they are the exact same ounces but they're 50 cents more for the creams I love the creams they're a lot easier to store because you could just put them upside down I have like this huge basket in my bathroom which if you guys want to see the huge basket in my bathroom with all my lotions and shower gels like a bathroom tour then let me know and I will do so now, as for the body sprays I got some of the body sprays enough of them because we ladies love to smell good so I did get two cotton blossoms which oh my gosh I love these oh my goodness This smells so decadent, like, so good. The Pear Margarita Body Spray. The Peony Body Spray. Now this one here, I didn't get anything to match it, which was the Cashmere Glow. And I really actually... Okay, so I had two bagfuls of Bath & Body Works on my shoulder. And after a while, I didn't even bother smelling anything anymore. I just, just started throwing stuff in the bag. I had my phone out, which was meaning I was using the calculator on it. Because I needed to know my total. So this one kind of reminds me of like coconut and like shea. It smells like really earthly. It's a really great smell. A really, really great scent. The mango mandarin. I love mangoes, if you girls know me really well. I love anything mango scented. Now, to carry along with me or basically to leave in my car, because, you know, it gets super hot out here in Arizona and I really don't like to smell. I mean, who does? But I got these. These were three for six bucks. And it's the Tiki Mango and the Tiki Mango Spray and the Golden Pineapple Luau Spray, which smells so good. I even ended up getting the matching candle to this. Now, if you want a candle scent that's super strong, then the Golden Pineapple Luau is one that you really, really have to try. This one smells so freaking good. Like, really, really good. Also, now, for me, I'm not really sure, like, but like I said, I really don't do, like, I like the, I love the lotions, but they don't keep you moisturized as opposed to, like, cocoa butter. So my trick to this is I don't use the lotions to moisturize myself. I just basically use it to smell good. I always have a huge jar of Queen Helen cocoa butter. Not the lotion kind, but, like, the, um butter kind that you have to scoop out the bar I love that because it gives my skin like really just keeps it really moisturized plus I'm not getting ashy out here I do want to go outside with ashy heels ashy feet and if I use just Bath and Body Works lotion alone with nothing else underneath it like a barrier then I'm going to go outside and, and eventually I'm going to become very ashy so the first thing that I do is I always put on my Clean Helen um, body um cocoa butter that's the first thing I do and I'll wait a few minutes and then I'll apply my lotions or my creams from Bath and Body Works so I also always use the Queen Helene on my feet now when I've used like these from uh, Bath and Body Works on my feet my feet feel still they feel really really dry and I I don't know it's a pet peeve of mine to have dry feet and it's very hard for me to sleep when my feet feel dry because they kind of are really itchy so I like to use the cocoa butter on my feet. And if I don't have any, then I do like to use these. So, unfortunately, they only had this um, this scent, which was the Moonlight Path. And this is the Body Butter, the Ultra Shea Body Butter. And these are 15 bucks, but they were 75% off. And these actually work just as well as, like, the cocoa butter for your feet. So, I... I've had these, I have like quite a few jars of these from the last sale, um, like the Peony, the Sweet Pea, um, there was one that I favored so much, and unfortunately I ran out of it, but these are like five bucks, and this was the only scent that they had out at both of the stores, but if you have like suffer from dry heels or anything, then I would highly suggest the Body Butters, these will really, really work well, of course they are not eight ounces, they are seven, but they are like a really thick consistency, and 
they just work really, really well, especially if you have like dry areas that you're trying to moisturize. Or moisturize. Now, I wouldn't say rub the entire thing on your entire body, um, but yeah, these work really well for like dry heels. So I decided, decided this time around to try their sugar cane scrub. So I do have this um, in the pear margarita. So I guess this suffices for the shower gel because I don't have the shower gel, but I do have the body um, cream and the spray. So I do also have the body scrub. Now, of course, this was like 75% off and it was a $16.50 value. Um, I think I paid like five, five bucks for this, five, six bucks for this. Like I said, I'm super cheap, so I only got one of these. Now, on to the candles. I love Bath & Body Works candles, and I'm really funny. I don't really like to spend $22.50 for a candle. So they had some candles that were $12, bucks and they had some that were 50% off. So if you do the math, $12, bucks, they are all $22.50. If you do the math, $22.50, a half of that is $11.25. Okay, so yeah. So you're getting one candle for eleven twenty five, and then you're getting one for twelve. Okay, so I only I know that's a seventy five cents difference, but like me, I'm super duper cheap. So so some of them I did have twelve dollars on ones, but most of them are eleven dollars and twenty five cents. So I really can't remember which ones were twelve and which ones was eleven dollars. But this one right here is one of my favorites, which is black teak wood. I absolutely love this scent. If you love like a um, like a masculine scent, like men's fragrance, men's cologne, then this one will have your entire house smelling so well, which is black teakwood. Um, I always use these in my bedroom, and you can always smell black teakwood. And there's another one, which is mahogany, which you can smell throughout the entire house, especially you can smell it in the entire house. So they do say not to burn these. I think you, they, you shouldn't burn them for more than like four hours or something like that. Burns approximately 25 to 48 hours, three to four burn, three to four hours at a time to burn. I end up burning them more than that, but for half the price, $11.20, 25 cents, it's really, really worth it. $22.50 is a lot for a candle, so I will be going back and getting more of these um, because I seem to be kind of like running low. So this one here is the Mocha Latte Swirl, and this one, of course, was $11.25. I do remember that. And it just smells so good. It kind of reminds me of like vanilla and chocolate mingled together. Um, now, my 8-year-old daughter said she didn't really care for this chocolatey smell, and I said, well, I'm going to burn it in the room. Oh, why would you do that? I'm your roommate. So, yeah. My eight-year-old daughter is now my roommate again um, since my breakup, and I'm so happy to have her back. She has her own room. She has her own room, like her own room, a bunk bed, TV, toys, barbie doll houses. So basically, it's just her playroom. And I love the company with her because we sit up, we talk, we chit-chat, we watch movies together. So I absolutely adore having her in there. I just really enjoy her company a lot, and we, we have, like, a lot to talk about all the time. So anyway, she basically said to me, why would you burn that if I was in the room? I don't really like that scent. But to me, it smells really, really good. And normally, I don't do scents like this, like vanilla or whatever. I just really don't know why. I really love, like, the scents that smell like men's fragrances because, to me, the ones that smell like men's fragrances are more potent. They're a lot more stronger in fragrance, so I really prefer those a lot better. But yeah, mocha's, mocha latte swirl is a really, really good scent. So I'm like a huge fan of lemon. Anything that smells like lemon, and I've said this before, I love. I'm a huge stickler about lemon pine saw. I have like loads of it or fabuloso around my house, and I will burn it on the stove so my whole house can smell like lemon. And sometimes I keep like the pine saw lemon under my bathroom sink just to pour it in my sink and make my bathroom smell like it but this one here anyway is lemon verbena and I'm gonna tell you something they have a lotion for this which I got like two sales ago <gasps> to die for it smells so good like oh my god this one is amazing this scent is like heaven 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 so I think this is the first one that I'm going to be burning because it just smells so so good now my daughter my eldest daughter who is 20 years old Tatiana who has my grandson she loves anything pumpkin scented so of course I did buy more candles um, and there were some for her but she took hers already and she just loves candles that are basically pumpkin scented. I'm not like a huge fan of anything pumpkin scented, but that's her preference. And mine's is lemon. Also, here is the Golden Pineapple Luau, which I was talking about. And it's very, very strong. The scent is super strong in it. Um, of course, it does smell like pineapples, but 
I really don't know if I'm going to burn this one first or this one here first. This one is, to me, a little bit more potent than this. But I will be honest and tell you that I'm not done with the candles. Um, I really do need to go back and get some more candles because I can burn one of these in, like, three days. Um, three days. And for $22.50, it's a lot. So I really do prefer to go when it is half off sale. And I think the half off sale, or the semi-annual sale, rather, is, like, 30 days. It's, like, a month. So, and every week they have something different. So, yeah. I love when the candles are, like, 75% um, off. Super duper cheap. Now, this one is also a really great one, which is Rio Red Guava. Really cute packaging. I really love the packaging of anything with Bath & Body Works. And, of course, when I am done with these jars, I always repurpose them. I'll put, like, my lip glosses in them, my lipstick. So I have, like, a bunch of these little jars on in my bathroom or my makeup table or my brushes or what have you. So, like I said, if you want to see a bathroom tour, let me know. Thumbs this video up and leave your comment below, and I'll go ahead and leave a, and do a bathroom tour. But this, like I said, is Rio Red Guava. And... I really can't describe the scent of it, but it does have a really sweet smell. It's not like a masculine smell. It's very, very sweet. And I love just like kind of like the tribal type thing going on. Really, really cute and different. Bow Ties and Bourbon is also another masculine one, which I'm pretty sure you girls knew already. Oh, and it smells just like men's cologne, like really amazing scent. I really, really adore this one. It kind of reminds me of the teak wood and mahogany split in half. And I'm telling you girls, when you get like the ones that smell more masculine, they are the most potent fragrances with Bath & Body Works. And that's just in my opinion, but if you agree, let me know in your comments below. This is the Brazil Real Coconut and Teak Wood. And of course, this does smell like a man. Now, if you ain't got a man, at least your house can smell like one. Now, just because I don't have one doesn't mean that I don't want to smell or have a scent of one. You know what I'm saying? Um, I just love the scents like this. The aroma is really, really, like, intriguing. It's just so relaxing when you have an aroma that smells like men's cologne. You ever have or you ever or were out in public or, you know what I mean, and a man walked past you that had, like, this really good scent on him. You could smell his cologne and you're like, what is that that you have on? I've done that many times and I I just love the scent of like a really good men's cologne. It's just like breathtaking and it's just so relaxing. Opposed to like floral and things like a women's perfume, men's cologne can smell so good and it can actually make your home feel like so feng shui, so relaxing, so inviting. And that's just what my take on it is. So Brazil Rio Coconut and Teakwood is another favorite of mine, which has just become. And this is the last one, which I really, really like this one a lot. And this is also kind of like kind of like a masculine it's a citron and cedar wood it smells to me it smells kind of very similar to the first teak wood that i showed you um oh my god they smell so similar so these this one here cedar teak wood and you'll probably think that it would smell like kind of like cedar wood but it really doesn't it just really smells very masculine, very strong. And to me, I guess with me, I love anything fruity scent, but I love candles that have like the strong masculine scent because it empowers your room. And it just, I don't know, it just empowers my feng shui and my whole, you know, vibe. So yes. That was my Bath & Body Works haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And, of course, the sale is for a month. It's always like a month, give or take. But I love when you can go, like, out here in Arizona, we have the outlet of Bath & Body Works. And they don't really, they don't do the sale thing because everything is basically, not everything is on clearance. But there are a lot of items that are on clearance. But it's like 45 minutes away. But trust me, I will drive that far. But they... They have, like, really great things. They have, like, great candle holders and things like that on sale. So that might be my actual trip for this weekend or Thursday, better yet. Thursday, since my daughter's off, we may just drive to Arizona Mills Mall to go to the Bath & Body Works outlet and see what they have on clearance. Really, I've gotten some really, really cool stuff. So if you have a Bath & Body Works outlet in your area, make sure you check it out because they really have some really cool stuff. But make sure you get to the sale in the meantime. And if I've been rambling on, well, you know what? I do apologize. So I guess I'll see you girls on my next video. And yeah, stay diva and divalicious.